Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right. So this is going to be a, a Libra Sun, Libra Moon and uh, Libra Rising monthly tarot reading for July 2019 and uh, bear with me a second guys to shuffle the cards and uh, we can jump uh, straight away to the reading. Whoops, sorry about that. Just the cards are new and they still have that glossy finish, you know, and uh, it's, uh, they slide uh, very easy. So, yeah, sometimes performing that riffle shuffle, it's, it, it, it's especially like this, it, it makes them slide. So, all right. So let's see um, what the Libra have throughout uh, this month. So the first card for Libra, which regards to the topic of the month, is going to be uh, the Ace of Pentacles, followed by the next card, which stands for the peripheral activities that Libra can go for, should they decide to, or they can completely skip if they don't feel like it. Then that is the Four of Wands. Afterwards, what we do have, it is the challenges that Libra needs to stand against. Uh, and overcome, hopefully, throughout the month, that is to be the Ten of Pentacles, followed by the next um, card, which stands for the uh, positive aspect of the, uh, of the month. This is, these are the challenges of the month. I'm sorry, I did so much weekly that just uh, weekly, 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 it is kind of like a uh, taking roots into my, into my mind. But anyway, so yeah, this is about all about the month. So that is the positive aspect of the month here. That will be the um, Knight of Cups. And then the last one stands for the guidance that Tarot has for you, Libra. That is going to be uh, the, two of, uh, the Two of Swords. So once again, going through the cards, uh, Ace of Pentacles, it is going to be about the topic, followed by the uh, Four of Wands, which stands for the, po uh, for the peripheral activities that you can go for throughout the month. Afterwards, we do have the Ten of Pentacles, which stands for the uh, challenges. Furthermore, we do have the Knight of Cups, which regards to the positive aspect. And the last one, guys, is going to be the Two of Swords, which stands for the uh, guidance. Well, Libra, it's uh, it's actually going to be quite of a uh, good month, guys. Now, <clears throat> if you follow my channel and you follow those general readings, you know that I am trying to keep as general as possible, right? But these cards um, or that reading itself have literally, uh, literally a, um, how can I say it, a shade of something like a reconciliation right but it's gonna depend a lot on you and that is due the ten of pentacles into a challenging position so <clears throat> what the topic is going to be all about it's the ace of pentacles now as a general one i will try to give you as well you know examples in the business wise also you know how it could um, how it could play out but mainly it regards to a a person that you know, it's, it seems that things are going to get better. Simply, they are going to get better, right? 
So it may not be just only a reconciliation, it could be as well repaired friendship, a, pre, a repaired partnership as well, and, and these kind of stuff. But the Ace of Pentacles here as a topic, its general interpretation is always that the Ace, it's that opportunity you need to further your goal, either regarding career or either regarding relationship. Now, if the goal is about relationship, then the Ace of Pentacles signifies a harmonious flow into your relationship. And uh, we're gonna see in the next cards what that relationship forms or how that relationship forms um, or how this improvement is to form. Or if it's uh, regards to your business, the Eight of Pentacles always signifies success into business endeavor endeavors excuse me whatever it is definitely the month is going to be a month of content right so you're gonna feel happy satisfied and uh, as well it's um yeah content to push on forward with uh, this endeavor or to proceed on forward with this endeavor because it's uh, simply in your in your vision and in your look it will worth it more than you have uh, anticipated. Now the accompanied card here is going to be uh, the King of Swords formation. It is a um, passive enemies. And uh, well, it's uh, this regards to a uh, endeavor or activity that you simply bailed out, right? Something that you thought it's beyond repair and that you actually how can I describe it? You tried everything, let's say that way, and nothing worked. Well, throughout the month of July, you are to find out that you either have been wrong about it, right? Or um, you haven't tried everything. Well, the way that these cards are playing out, I'm going to say it right now in a very practical manner, all right? It, it regards to a, a person that you broke up with, you know, either a friendship or a relationship, it doesn't matter because you thought that this relationship, uh, you both thought, not just you, but it could be as well that person itself, that this relationship, friendship or a partnership doesn't have any future. And in the month of July, you both are going to be proven. You cannot be proven more wrong than that. OK, so an attempt to uh, reestablish that thing is going to be uh, is going to be made throughout the month of July. It could be, like I said, a partnership into uh, your career, like partnering with a, a colleague of yours or with a person that you can establish business. Or it could be an ex-girlfriend or a boyfriend, you know, that you are keep talking with each other and it, it comes the day in the month of July where you just ask yourself, well, why we had to split, you know? What, what was the reason? And when you identify the reason, you will not you are going to agree that this reason was stupid enough i mean it's not it is not a big reason want to split a good relationship so the next card uh it's about the peripheral activities here and we do have the four of wands so uh it refers literally to uh, a final uh, how, how do you say it? A, a final actions that is required into a, a ordinary stuff into one day for example unfinished business with documents that is just everything else is sorted out but only the documents are remain to be signed you know and to be filled and etc etc it could refer as well you know cleaning your house for example let's say that everything else is going well but suddenly you realize that your house is a little bit how can i say it a left and uh, left without maintenance, let's say, and you figure out, okay, so this is gonna be a time where I'm gonna clean up my house. So yeah, the point here with the four of ones, guys, is that these peripheral activities are good to be accomplished, all right? They are every day's activities because it's just gonna make your environment more cozy and more comfortable in general. And uh, it, it are things which once dealt with, you know, they're not gonna bother you anymore. The accompanied card here, it is the Hierophant. Uh, the formation, it is a uh, active neutrals that we do have. And with the Hierophant, uh, now we can say that these activities are going a bit out of your way. Uh, what I mean is it's something that you don't have the the tendency to do in the sense of that they are a bit annoying, okay? Uh, you do have better stuff 
I'm sorry guys, just outside people, I don't know why people have to yell to each other. I mean, we can't, can't we not talk in peace, calmly? I, these kind of stuff is just here people always yell i don't know why anyway so uh yeah it's uh you you gotta go a little bit out of your way no you know not because you know these things are gonna be annoying or uh, they're gonna be tedious these peripheral activities but because um you know you are to identify that you do have better stuff to do Okay. No different than, for example, uh, if you have been asked to go out with people to party, and instead of that, you say, "Nah, I gotta put my, I gotta start my laundry." You know, I have to clean up my house, for example, or you know, I have to do my my makeup, or I don't know. You know, so it's kind of like substituting one pleasant activity for one daily routine kind of uh, activity. So uh, yeah, then we go to the. Um, next one which is the challenge so we are going back to the narrative of uh, reconciliation and fixing up a broken partnership friendship relationship marriage or something like this so with the eight with the ten of pentacles the challenge is to uh, give a second chance now the ten of pentacles plays a role where you know uh, how do i describe it well, I would say something or someone who betrayed your trust comes back and prove itself worthy for the for your trust once again. All right. And the challenge itself is going to be you to give them your trust or to believe in them in generally to give them a, a second chance. And one more thing about the Ten of Pentacles is also going out of dependency. That is a little bit outside of the main narrative here of the reading, but Throughout this month, you know, if you can um, repay debts is going to be a good thing that you do as a challenging card because uh, probably these debts are going to get on your way as you move along with, uh, with your future in one way or another. So if you do have the means, yeah, repay your debts into the banks, you know, into people that you have, for example, taken money from and etc, etc. Uh, the accompanied card here is going to be the Page of Cups the formation it is a, a passive friends that we do have and we definitely are talking about changing your positions uh toward that person which comes once again into your life to uh how can i describe it not to be attending to the minor details why there uh, something into their behavior is irritating you you know or something into their behavior is annoying you but instead focus on the overview, focus on the grand scheme of things, focus on the end goal. That will allow you to make crucial and critical assessment upon current position and current situation you have with them, you know, either with your partner or with with, with your ex-partner, you know, or with uh, the ex-lover of yours and the critical assessment to the past as well. And that that itself is going to help you to recognize that the reason why you split up back in the days was not simply enough uh, for you to, to do so. I mean, to split it all. And uh, it's, it's very likely that you are to give another chance to each other, to create a good business together, you know, or to have fun with each other if that is about friendship, or simply to love each other if that is a, about relationship and marriage as well. Uh, the next card, it is about the positive aspect and we're talking about the person itself. Now, we do have the Knights of Cups and only thing that I can tell here is that this person is determined to do whatever they can in order to make that, things to, that thing to happen. Because that person believes that the good connection and the good relationship in between you two, it's not granted but it is re it is result of a uh, cumulative effort and that's why they will do whatever they can whatever power they have in order to throw efforts into it so they can sustain that relationship in other words they have identified that you are one of the dream of their heart and they are ready to do like i said whatever they can in order to fulfill that dream or in other words, to have you as a partner, uh, business partner, for example, relationship partner, or simply, you know, to have you as a, a very, very good friend. The accompanied card, 
to it is going to be the uh, the strength card, uh, the formation. It is a uh, passive enemies, and that is actually a good thing because the strength here plays a role uh, as a um, a temper. Okay, so it, it looks like that this person and you as well are gonna keep your cool. You are not going to uh, outburst to each other. And uh, as well, you're not going to lose your temper where you uh, where there is a chance that you can inflict wounds to one another or the very least, you know, to open one uh, old wounds that have been already healed. Additionally to that, these couple of cards are pointing that uh, you don't have to wait for too long things to develop as uh, pretty much from the very start when you get in touch together, um, yeah, when you get in touch together, things are to uh, snowball and you don't have to uh, wait for anything or for any decision or there won't be any reluctancy in there. And uh, the last card, it is the Guidance, uh, and that is the Two of Swords. So the Two of Swords, however, urges you not to be premature here. Yeah, it's awesome that you can, you know, resuscitate a, a, a previous relationship or partner or, or partnership or give it another go, you know, uh, because you are to recognize that you do deserve a second chance and so on and so forth. But this time around, you have to learn from the past mistakes so you don't repeat those past mistakes okay that is uh, this is a, a lesson of the history not how you have to do things but how you should not do things and therefore the two of swords here urges you once the things are starting to snowball before you actually decide to to, to make a big commitment and to um to make a big commitment you know and to uh, and to jump into this endeavor and to devote yourself entirely into it uh, it urges you to consider all points of view and all variants, uh, variations, excuse me, of how that thing could be uh, proceed on forward and decide the best possible one uh, for yourself. And the last card here is going to be the uh, Six of Swords. The formation, it is a uh, active neutrals that we do have and it's uh, it basically points that through your decision and through your decisions, you know, and through that standpoint of considering all points of view, you know, you are to be able to have the, uh, I would say the power here um, to change the course of the course of history, if I may express it that way. And this time around to rebuild that partnership, friendship or relationship the way you want it in the future, that is. Okay, so that being said, uh, this was your monthly tarot reading for July 2019. I'm sorry guys about the immature behavior outside. It's just I don't have control upon it. And yeah, my office is um, on the ground floor actually. And there is a people that just love to, st to, to stay here and just to chat, to yell to each other. Yeah, so uh, that being said, yes, this was your uh, monthly tower reading. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, I hope that we're going to see each other around. Till then, bye.